So the point I'm raising is today, as we are sitting here, there are people who are sick and ill. How are you going to help them? You may not be able to visit all of them. There are some people who have a difficulty that requires some intricate medication, something that's not easily available. You have the capacity to help make that available. Imagine if you were driven out of your homes. Just imagine. Inshallah, it will never happen. And imagine you had to run. And imagine you ended up somewhere as a refugee. And imagine as you are seated as a refugee, someone brings you a tent and tells you, you know what? This is from the people of England in Bolton. And you're sitting somewhere in Syria or Turkey or Jordan. I have witnessed with my eyes the dua and the tears rolling down the cheeks of the elderly mothers of community and giving dua upon dua upon dua upon dua as though they cannot stop the duas to people they've never ever met who come from Bolton for example or anywhere else and guess what? If these people only knew that today you are sitting comfortable where you are because of the dua of someone you will never meet in this dunya who cried and made a dua for you because you helped them with a hundred pounds. How's that? I've seen it with my eyes. We have to heal the ummah. We are the ummah of the Quran. We are solidified by the bond of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. That Allah has placed. We're supposed to be like a wall, like a building, solid. One brick goes into the other. If you put the bricks one on their own, the wall will fall, but you interlock them. Then you have a proper wall. We should be interlocked. I care for you, my brother. I love you, my brother, my sister. Anything happening to you, I'm the first one to help you. Not because I want something from you. I don't want anything from you. I'm doing it because I love Allah. Wallahu yuhibbul muhsineen. It means Allah loves those who do good. I want to do good, not because I think they deserve the goodness, but because I know Allah loves those who do good. That's why I'm doing good. So whether the guy reciprocates it or not, I don't care. Allah knows what I did. That's it. So my brothers and sisters, one of the opportunities that we have today is for the patients who are going through kidney problems where they need dialysis. Imagine you are in a refugee camp and there is no dialysis. You have a kidney problem, you have to wait to die. And many have died. When we started witnessing people dying as a result of kidney failure because of the water and whatever else it is that they might have consumed that destroyed their kidneys, and then we witnessing them dying one by one, we thought we need to inform the rest of the ummah.